How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring along with me to show you something that will help your editing become better. So let's jump right into it. If you spend a lot of time in front of a computer editing or doing anything really just sitting down in front of a computer, I think this tip will help you out to have better grading and editing and anything that you do in front of your computer. So like myself, I spend a lot of time in front of my computer editing, whether it's photos, videos, or anything that I have to do on a computer for long hours. And this little tool has helped me out to become just better and have a more efficient turnaround. And it's basically has been a standing desk. You can choose whatever standing desk you want. I mean, to me, I use the Fazebo because it's something that I thought was really great price for what I was getting out of it. But if you find something that works with your budget, that's always great. You can get a more electronic version of it, or you can get one more of like a handle kind of style as well. But for me, the price point for this one just worked out, but maybe not for you. So it's all about what your budget allows. Now, I wanna talk about why I think it's something super important to have because it's gonna make your editing and anything that has to do being in front of a computer for hours, just a lot smoother. See, I had a stress fracture when it came down to my back because of tennis and all that stuff and growing and whatever else I wanted to go with. So spending a lot of hours really just a, an uncomfortable thing when it comes down to editing for long periods of hours. So for me, it's been a great investment to go into the standing desk option because it has helped me to make sure that I'm standing and doing as much as I need to to be able to create the best content that I can and to keep improving daily. And now you might not have a stress fracture in your spine just like how I did, but despite of all that, you still will benefit from having a standing desk. If you're sitting a long hours every day, whether it's for, you know, kind of just in front of a computer and stuff like that, it's really not super great for your body. Now I'm telling to you not as a medical professional or anything like that, but just because I do notice the difference and change when it comes down to my editing and my mentality when I'm spending too many times just sitting down in front of a computer editing versus when I get to stand up a little bit and give my back and my butt a little bit of a break. Which if you ever get into using one of these, even if you're just trying it out some like cafe or something like that, just where you're able to stand up and edit, whether it's on your laptop or a desktop like mine, you will notice probably a big difference in your mood as well. It's always good to, you know, be able to just stretch out and move a little bit more and it'll help out your mentality when it comes down to your editings because a lot of the times you get to be sitting down, you start crunching up a little bit too much and you start getting those backs and aches that it starts affecting your editing whether you like to acknowledge it or not in reality every little detail can help you out to either make or break a lot of edits that's why for me i like to just you know share the knowledge that i have learned from my personal experiences in hopes that it'll help you out to become better and more efficient whether it's with editing or anything that has to be in front of your computer this has helped me out personally to become just more efficient. And I have noticed a drastic change in mood when it comes down to just being able to become more hours and it's, well, just spend more hours into my editing to make sure I put more content out as much as possible that I am actually enjoying to put out. Because there's no point in putting yourself through misery if you're not enjoying it that's how you start to you know, burn out faster and then you're not gonna wanna do it in the long term. For me, I think having that you know, knowledge of being able to know that having a better posture because I'm able to just you know, stand right here like this versus you know, standing you know, or sitting down the whole time, it's a big difference of change whenever you need to. Sometimes it's fine to sit down for a couple of hours, but being able to stand up has been a quite great addition to be able to become more efficient with my editing. And that's something that I think can help you out as well. But like I said, it all comes down to what you would prefer when it comes down to your editing. But for me, I've noticed a big drastic change when I'm using a standing desk versus just a traditional desk. Because if I'm tied down to one little thing where I cannot just move around a bit, sometimes it's good to you know get a little bit of a fresher mindset by changing your posture, whether standing or just maybe like popping your back a little bit but having a little bit more diversity with standing has helped me out a lot more to be able to just create my better videos and editing and everything like that because the cool thing is with all this right here i have them saved up where i can go all the way down to the lowest setting so i'm able to bring it back down to what i would be if i'm sitting down just to make sure that i'm able to just have my desk set up so that I can go ahead and edit a lot easier, whatever I need to do. But then I can go bring it to maybe like a little bit higher point. So in case I wanna have the, you know, the computer a little bit higher up just a little bit so that I'm able to just make sure that I have my content a little bit easier, even though if I'm sitting down and I can adjust it manually myself as well to just go lower to the perfect height.
So, I'm overexposed on that bad boy, but um, this is one of the things why I think it's great because I am able to sit down and feel comfortable for a couple of hours. This chair's fine. I'm actually getting a new one that my wife is giving me for Christmas, even though, uh, you know, Christmas magic, right? But um, to make it a little bit more comfortable for my back as well, which you're able to do that route as well. But the cool thing about this is this. I'm able to simply just go ahead and start lowering a little bit more or maybe making it a little bit higher so that I'm not fully down below, but I'm able to kind of keep myself up a little bit nicer like this. And then I can simply adjust to whatever height I want. And then that'll help me out too, if I need to sit down for a little bit longer, have a little bit more composure and difference whenever it comes to just sitting down in front of the computer so that I'm able to have, you know, a little bit better posture because having a good posture and feeling good within your body, you'll have a clearer mind and you'll have the better product. That's something that I think it's worth sharing. And that's one of the reasons why I thought to make this video for you guys. And that's why I'm not really caring about the brand itself. If you really wanna know it, I'll leave it in the description down below in case you wanna go check out the exact same setup that I have and there are other types of setup. I mean, I don't have any affiliation with them, but uh, sometimes you have them on Amazon. So I'll leave my affiliated Amazon link if you'd like to support the channel that way, if you choose to get a desk, but you're welcome to check out their website as well to see what other options they have. But I'll show you which one I got and as well the one that my wife uh, that I got I gave her about I think last year I can't remember right now but it's been a really great thing because it has nice little you know drawers right there and I'm able to fit stuff underneath to have it a little bit more organized so that it's just nicer overall and it makes me happier to be in front of the computer to edit create anything I need to whether it's you know having to spend lots of hours or even if it's like a 10 minute break into just editing or something quick but that's all that i have for you when it comes down to something that'll help you out to create and edit better when it comes down to your desk setup having a nice little bit of a cushion where you can stand or sit down or adjust the height is just so detrimental to have a good mentality when it comes down to your editing or spending too many hours in front of a computer. It has helped me out a lot and I thought this would be a nice thing to share with you guys and hopefully it helps you out if you choose to go this route because it's been quite phenomenal and the you know the desk that I got for myself wasn't horribly priced compared to other ones so if that's of interest to you you know where to find that but with all that said and done guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe share this video to final catch you guys in the next one see ya